Hello, hello. Are you writing GC this year? Or are you writing grade 12 exams this year? These are some of the questions which do not miss in an exam for as long as that exam question paper is ECZ. So the question I'm about to discuss with you now what means in paper one. So this question came in 2018. It's 23. We know this is a speed time graph. So the question reads, the diagram below shows the speed time graph of the particle. The particle started off from rest and accelerated uniformly for 10 seconds. It then traveled at a constant speed for 20 seconds and then decelerated to rest. Question 23a, find the speed v the particle reached if its acceleration was 2 meters per second in the first 10 seconds. So we know that this is time and this is the uh, speed. So they have given us acceleration to be equal to 2. So we're going to use the formula for finding acceleration. This formula looks like this. So this is V and this is U. V is a final velocity somewhere here, final velocity here. And U is the initial velocity. Time is the 10 seconds. So acceleration will be given to be equal to 2. Final velocity, we don't know. We we'll just write V. And then the initial velocity is 0. Time there is say, 10 seconds. So we can work out things. Here it will just be V and then 10 here. So we now cross multiply. So for, for, for V. So when you cross multiply, you find that our v is equal to 20 meters per second so here it was 20 meters per second so now we can go to the next question the next question reads given that the total distance covered was 750 find the value of t in the diagram so you can see this t over here so for us to find this t since we've been given distance we'll use the formula for finding area of a trapezium which is uh, this one this is how it looks like so here where it says distance, we'll put it, the distance that we've been given in the question. And then for A, we'll put uh, T. Here where A is, we'll put it, T. And uh, where B is, we'll put uh, uh, 20. And where H is, 20. So how did I manage to find this? So the A here is the length from here to here. It's T. We don't know what is here. This is T. And then your B is from here to here. So look, so you have a trapezium like this. This is how a trapezium looks. It has got two parallel lines. There is this one, the longer one, and the shorter one. So the one which is down here can be your A or your B. If this one is your A, this one is your B. Or if this one is your A, this will be your B. So I like putting this one as my A. So you see, the difference like this from here to here, what is the length or the difference from here to here? That is from here to here, we've put it. T. And then from here to here, what is the difference? So here to here, we use the, these numbers which are down here to help us find from here to here. Since the here is 10 and this is 30, we just say 30 minus 10, it will give us a 20. That's how I managed to find that. And then for, for H here, the H is the height from here to here. So it's the same as like from here to here. If you can see, this is 20. All right. So we can now finish it up. So here, 2 into 2, 1, 2 into uh, 20 is 10. You can now distribute 10 multiplied by t is 10. t, 10 multiplied by 20 is uh, 200. So group the like terms. Let me use this part here. So we have uh, 7, 150 is equal to 10, t plus 20, uh, 200. So from this stage, we can group the like terms. So 750 minus 200 is equal to 10. Okay, T there. So here, it will give us 550, which is equal to 10. To solve for T, we divide by 10. Divide by 10, both sides. So we find that our T will be equal to 55 seconds. This is our T. So here is 55. 55 seconds. So our question C here, our question C here, they're saying what was the speed at 40 seconds? So we know from here to here, it's a, a 50, a 55. This is 30 and this is 55 over here. We just found 55. So 40 must be somewhere here. This is where 40 is. So to, to do this kind of a question, we do this. We just get 
the shape that you you've been given let me let me write it here nicely so that you're able to see what will be happening so we need to compare here we're going to use the idea of similarity so this is 30 this point here and this is 55 this is where 55 is and uh, here is where maybe 40 is this is where 40 is and we know up here here the velocity or the speed here is 20 so what about the speed here because now it's supposed to be somewhere here this is 20 it's supposed to be here this is the speed we want we don't know this speed is what we are looking for so what we do here we use the idea of similarity we will start with the, the smaller triangle here maybe you can see the smaller triangle so what is the length from here to here if you're able to see nicely from here to here is a 15 this is 15 and then for the bigger triangle here what is the length from here to here if you're able to see nice the length from 30 to or the difference from 30 between 30 and 55 is 25 so that's how it is so now we'll start to we'll say uh, this 15 is for the small triangle 15 which for the small triangle we'll move with the x this x is the speed for the small triangle and then this 25 will move with the speed for the uh, bigger triangle because 25 is the difference here for the bigger triangle so it will move with the 20 so now since you have this you can now cross multiply so it will be 25 by x is 25 x which is equal to uh, uh, 15 by by 15 by 20 what are we getting we're getting 300 so now divide by 25 divide by 25 so what are we getting so let me put it here so the value that we're getting x will be equal to uh 25 into 300 it's 12 i think yeah it's 12 meters per second so 12 meters per second is our speed this is how you you do it